Hello, I'm Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco. This critical incident message is regarding a deputy-involved shooting that occurred on Friday, April 14th, 2023, in the 22,000 block of River Road in the unincorporated area of Paris known as Meadowbrook. When we have a critical incident, we want to share as much information as possible as soon as the investigation allows. For weeks leading up to this incident, the Riverside County Sheriff's Special Enforcement Bureau had been searching for Johnny Ray Lamas, a career criminal with three outstanding felony warrants, one related to a robbery, one for sexually assaulting a child under the age of 14, and the other for violating his probation terms. On April 14th at 4.47 p.m., a concerned citizen called 911 to report an unknown male and female were on her property. 911 emergency. Please, due to the transfer Are you there? Hello? Hi, it's the Sheriff's Department. What is your first name? My name is... And you said there's people walking through your property on drugs? No, not, they're not only on drugs, they're running from the cops. Okay, how do you know they're running from the deputies? Because they got out of the car and they started running through my property. Okay. And, and I tried to stop them. Him. How many people uh -huh. were there that ran away from this vehicle? Two, a male and a female. Okay, and what makes you think they were running away from the police? Because he told her to stay here and I'll be in charge to get arrested. And I said, no, you guys, both of you are going to get off of my property because my property is registered as a foster facility. Okay, so the male told the female to stay there to get arrested? Huh? So you said the male told her to stay there to get arrested? To stay here so when they catch him, he'll be willing to get arrested. Okay. Deloitte, they've been drinking any alcohol today or just the drugs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They had a bottle with them. Do you see any weapons, guns, size like that? No. Oh, no. Okay. And which way did the male go? They both went together up uh, back side of my property. They're up here in the hill. They're hiding because they wanted to hide in my shed. How long ago you last seen them? Uh, maybe about 10 minutes ago before I... <laughs> about 10 minutes. I will have a deputy out there just as soon as we can. If anything, take his calls back immediately, okay? When deputies arrived, both subjects had already fled, but deputies were able to confirm the male subject was Lamas. Deputies established a perimeter, and with the assistance of a canine handler and his canine partner, Rudy, they began their search. Canine Rudy led deputies to Lamas' hiding place, which was in the middle of thick foliage and vegetation. As deputies approached, Lamas opened fire at deputies, striking Canine Rudy. From the sheriff's helicopter, deputies observed Lamas running towards inhabited dwellings, still armed with the handgun. Despite deputies' continuous commands to surrender, Lamas refused to comply. As deputies closed in on Lamas, he pointed the firearm at them, and a deputy-involved shooting occurred. After Lamas was struck by the gunfire, deputies rendered medical aid until paramedics responded. Lamas was later pronounced deceased at the scene. We will now show you body-worn camera video from the involved deputies. As a warning, some viewers may find this video disturbing and it is not suitable for children. Did you guys see him? No, he's here. Incredible. Hey, board, Okay, where that shot come from? Negative on the <laughs> deputy. We beat the K9 got hit. We need to start nine back. We will now show you video footage from the helicopter. We'll start some announcements over here. Hey, you see that gun move? Yep. He gets it. We're going to have a crossfire. Yep, yep. It's off gun. Call it, LT. Call it. Hey, they're off gun. 
Who is? Drop the gun! If he budges, you tack him. Drop the weapon immediately! Get on the ground! Drop the gun! Get on the ground! Don't let him walk towards that. Drop the gun! Get on that ground! Drop the gun! We gotta move up on a unit. We gotta move up on a unit. Hey, where is he? We gotta keep moving up on him. I got cover, I got cover. Where, where, where? There, there, right there. Okay. Hold, hold, hold! Go, we got shots head. fired, and he is down. Hey, we gotta move on until better move comes from. I, we don't want him to go to that house. Guns in his hand. I know, I know, I know. Let's go, let's go. We gotta move on him because that house could be occupied. Here's the incident again in slow motion. The suspect, Johnny Ray Lamas, was a 35-year-old resident of Moreno Valley. The firearm used by Lamas was a Ruger P89 semi-automatic handgun. K-9 Rudy was transported to a local veterinary hospital where he passed away as a result of his injury. When we have a deputy-involved shooting, multiple investigations are automatically launched. An investigator from the Riverside County District Attorney's Office will lead this investigation, aided by the Riverside County Sheriff's Force Investigations Detail and Central Homicide Unit. This combined investigation will examine Lamas' actions and the deputy-involved shooting. This is an active and ongoing investigation. This incident, like all deputy-involved shootings, will ultimately be reviewed by the Riverside County District Attorney's Office. Additionally, our department will internally review and evaluate the actions of our deputies with our policy and training standards. We take each use of force very seriously and make every effort to de-escalate these situations whenever possible. Thank you for watching.